All right, welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm hoping to show you how you can back up your WordPress installation, including your database files, as well as all of the files that you've uploaded, uh, your themes, and your plugins. Okay, welcome to the WordPress tutorial on how to do automated backups. So I'm going to just show you how using a couple of simple plugins for WordPress, you can set it up to automatically uh, save your database as well as your uploaded files, theme files, and plugin files. So we'll start with a fairly simple installation of WordPress. Uh, this is a pretty new one that I'm just working on, so there aren't there isn't much there. As you can see, two posts, 13 pages, and like I said, pretty basic. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at adding our plugins. So we'll scroll down on the and on the left hand side. Go into plugins, add new, click on add new, and we will search for DB Manager. Search, and we'll find WP DB Manager. We will install that one, hit OK, should install and activate. So you see here we have a bit of a, a message on the top, and I will show you how to change that. But first thing we're going to do is now set up the database backups. So we'll scroll down on the left hand side to where it says database at the bottom and we will click on DB options. So under here we'll click on auto detect. It should automatically fill these in. I haven't come across an installation that it hasn't done that. Uh, we have here selected the path where it's going to back it up on the actual server and then uh, you can set how many backup files for the database it maintains. So we'll scroll down, we'll set it up for automated backups. So this way, once a week, it will automatically back up the database on the server, and it will send your database file to whatever email you put in. Um, I'm going to leave everything on default, same with the automated optimization of the database. I'll leave that on every three days. And just hit Save Changes once you've made those changes. Like I said, there is the error on the top, and the way we will change that is to open up our FTP. Um, if you don't know how to do an FTP, you can search for that online. I use FileZilla. It's pretty simple just to connect to your server. And we will, so we'll, let's see if we follow the directions. So we'll look for the HT access file in WPDB Manager and under Plugins, WPDB Manager. So let's find that first. So we'll go content, plugins, manager, and so here's the HT access file. We'll just copy that to a local folder. And then we will move it to WP test content backup DB. So we'll go WP test content backup DB and we will move that into here. And now what we'll need to do is we need to rename it .htaccess. So we will select it, right click, rename, just delete that, hit a dot, enter. Now if we refresh this page, we'll just scroll down, click on DB options, that error should be gone. All right, so now our database will automatically back, be backed up once a week and sent to your email address and also backed up on the server. So the next thing we want to do is we want to be backing up our uploads. So that'll include any videos or any audio or photos that we upload to a WordPress blog, as well as backing up our plugins that we install. And it will also back up our theme, which is what um, controls how our WordPress installation looks like. So to do that, we'll go back under Plugins and click on Add New. We will search for WordPress Backup. And then we will select uh, this one here, WordPress Backup by Blog Traffic Exchange. That's the best one that I've found. Um, we'll go Install hit OK and we'll activate that plugin. 
So now what we will do is we will scroll down on the left hand side and under settings we will see WordPress backup so we will click on WordPress backup and we will set it up for interval between backups I would probably say one week it should cover most small blogs if you have a lot of traffic you might want to change it to one once a day if you do get a lot of comments and uh, are posting a lot of information email address Whoops. so we will set up the email address so then it will email you the zip files Uh, our backup directory bte.wb that's the basic one now we will have a look at this just so that we know how to set up our .hd access file again so we'll see um, all these should be green so this is the backup URL the plugin directory again these are all auto populated so we shouldn't need to make any changes and hit update backup options and that's it It'll then back up your plugins, your uploads, and your themes, and will automatically email you at your email address, and also put the files into that backup directory. So if we look at how to set up our HT access file, we'll see how to HT access file your backup folder. So we will highlight that. And I'll just show you quickly how we can do that. So that was under BTE dash WB we will let's just drag that one in actually and we'll view it because it wouldn't surprise me if that's pretty much the one that we want and you'll see that that is the same as what we want so save you creating a new one what you can do is just copy in uh, we're not going to save those changes because I didn't make any changes We'll just copy in the same HD access file that we put um, in our backup dash w backup dash db into our bte dash wb, uh, and then we will again rename that to dot ht access. Hit enter, and we're done there. So now we will go back to here, click on WordPress backup and that error is now gone and we're done so now every week we should receive an email uh, that will include our plugins our uploads our themes as well as our database and it will also be backing it up to our backup directories and with those files what you should be able to do is just install a clean installation of WordPress then upload your plugins uh, uploads themes import the database that's in the database backup and you should be good to go.